Installing an SSD or solid state disk drive into your new notebook or ultrabook PC has many advantages over the older hard disk drives, like faster boot times and longer battery life. And they're easy to install too, here's how. But before you begin, there are a couple things you need to know. First, if you're installing an SSD into a new computer, the setup will be a breeze. Just make sure that you have the installed disks that came with your computer. Otherwise, you'll need to back up or clone your existing drive. And before upgrading anything in your computer, it's always a good idea to make sure that your system BIOS is up to date. Check with your PC manufacturer's website before you begin. Next, your work surface should be clean and you should ground yourself first by touching an unpainted metal surface to prevent damage to any components. And lastly, in most cases, a simple Phillips head screwdriver is all you'll need to replace the hard drive in your notebook computer, but we find that these long nose tweezers are helpful too. With your computer shut down, remove the power adapter and the battery. And just to be sure that all the remaining power is drained from the computer, press the power button after the battery has been removed. Find where your hard drive is located, usually on the underside of your computer. If you're having trouble finding it, check your computer maker's website first. Now unscrew and remove the cover, and you should have a good view of the old hard drive in your computer. Each system will be slightly different, but carefully remove the screws, and maybe even a supporting bracket if you have one, like we do, holding the drive into place. Disconnect the SATA and power connector, or cable, usually by sliding the drive away from the connection, and remove the drive from the computer and set it aside. When installing the new SSD drive, it's important the SATA and power connection is securely connected, and if any brackets were used on the old drive, reconnect it to the new SSD drive first. Slide the SSD into the drive bay and it'll fit snugly. Screw it into place. Replace the cover and the battery. Now flip the computer back over and now turn on your computer. You may be alerted that there's no operating system. Just insert the original install disks that came with your computer and restart again and boot from the CD-ROM. Just follow the prompts to install the operating system and restore from a backup. And that's it. If you have any other questions or need additional help installing the SSD in your computer, be sure to visit www.kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.